Welcome back, Raw Sagan family. Man, it's been a good minute. So, Saturday, we, I went to Epic's game for their case tournament. Man, Epic has the home of some really good players. Like, the UDS champion, Cameron Neal. The back-to-back -back YCS champion, uh, Ramiro. The last live event, YCS champion, Scott Page. And just so many others, like Joey Lynch. Uh, there's just so many to name off. But I went to their home. I went to their store, took Fluffles, and got first place on that case tournament. And a lot of you guys have been hitting my DMs and wanting me to do a deck profile. And I feel like this is the perfect time to show you guys and restart my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe. Also hit that notification bell because we are going to go hard now. Live events are coming back on 2022 and so is Raw Sangin. So make sure to subscribe for deck profiles, top A's, and etc. So many contents coming. But... Let's go to the deck profile. So first we play three fluffle dogs. Obviously, um, he's a searcher. He searches a fluffle dog. Or not, he searches a fluffle monster and an agent sabers. We play three fluffle penguins. Um, his hard once per turn effect is if he's fusion summoned for a fracture monster, you draw two cards. This card one. His soft once per turn is. If this, card is on, if this guy's on the field, you can special summon another fluffle monster from your hand. And that's a soft once per turn. So, you know, you bring another copy, he can do that effect. So we play two fluffle bears. Bears, his main effect is you discard him to set a toy vendor from your deck to the field. Um, his other effect is, if he's on the field, you can tribute him to grab a polymerization from your graveyard. You can only use one effect per turn. So we play one Fluffle Wings. Um, its effect is you can banish him to target another Fluffle Monster. And you ha if you have a face up Toy Bender, you get to draw, send Toy Bender to the graveyard, draw another card. Um, it's pretty cool because Toy Bender, when it hits the graveyard, you get to search. So basically, this could be a plus three. So we play one Fluffle Dolphin. Fluffle Dolphin's main effect is. It's on the field, you can set a toy vendor from your graveyard. And you set a fluffle monster or edge of saber from the deck to the graveyard. His other effect is if he's used for a fusion summon for a Pfeiffer monster, you can put a polymerization or any card that has fusion in, in his text. So spoiler, we we do play um, Destiny Fusion. Um, fusion Destiny. And so like sometimes you can mail the fusion of destiny or you can activate on a conda and they'll you need to send for cost and then negate it. Well you just put um, dolphin well fusion summon dolphin and you just can put that fusion destiny back to your deck. Um I done it I've done it a couple of times, like really few, but it comes up man. So you play one fluffle cheap, so its effect is if you control a fluffle monster, you can special summon him. You active effect, target a fluffle monster. Bounce it back to your hand. Then you can summon an agent monster from the graveyard or field. So it's pretty good just to start like making links too. Um, just like let's say your opponent, you activate dog, you search sheep, they draw you. You can special summon and just make Anaconda and just have Phoenix Enforcer. So we play one Fluffle Octopus. Because we do play Fusion Destiny on um, the Phoenix Enforcer package. This, this, his second effect is so good. Uh, but his the first effect is if, if it's normal or special summon, you can target a fluffle monster or an agent monster from your graveyard, add it back to your hand. So majority of times you're gonna normal summon octopus, grab sheep, sheep's gonna bounce octopus back to your hand and special summon an agent monster from your graveyard. And so basically it just is really good to like on the grind games. His second effect, if he's future summoned for a Frypher monster, you get to put two banished cards from, well, two banished cards back to your graveyard. So majority of the times you're putting wings back to your graveyard and you're also putting Destiny Hero Celestial. So this way, like I said, in the grand game, you get to draw two again because it's Celestial. You banish the Phoenix Enforcer if they find a way to like out it. 
and then you draw again with wings. So like, I did that a couple of times at the case tournament, and yeah, so you have zero cards in hand, and you end up with four. So on the edge gems, I played three edge gem chains and one inch of sabers. I don't play scythe. Um, on this version, there's a different version. If you want to build going first fluffles with the artifact scythe version, you, you do play one edge of scythe. So for Destiny Hero, we play Dasher and Celestial, you know, pretty common. This is pretty good. If you draw a fluffle monster, you active effect, you special summon it. Um, so all your fluffles do something, so it's, it's, it's pretty good synergy. This is, if you car if you have no cards in hand, you draw two by banishing two Destiny Heroes or two Hero cards. I think it's Destiny Heroes. So that's basically my monster lineup. I believe it's 18. Um, I, I didn't count it, but I believe it's 18. So we played three Toy Vendor. Toy Vendor is such a good card especially with the phoenix enforcer build um so basically its first effect is you can discard one card draw a card if it's a fluffle monster you can special summon any fluffle monster from your i'm not any fluffle any monster from your hand to the field and if toy vendor hits the graveyard you get to search a fluffle monster or an edge of savers and so there's one game i resolve resolve toy vendor four times. It's because Dolphin gets to put it back, Phoenix Enforcer pops it, Drop it, sends it, it just, it's just really good synergy with the deck. Well, yeah. We play three Fright for Patchwork. Fright for Patchwork lets you search for an Ancient Monster and Polymerization. You have to search both of them. Uh, if you run out of polys, you can't activate it. If you run out of edge imp, you can't you can't resolve it. So you have to get out both edge imp and poly. So we play one fry for fusion. So basically this is like miracle fusion for you hero players. You banish materials from the field in graveyard to make your fry for fusion. Fry for fusion monster. We play one fry for repair. Again, this has two effects, but you can only activate one per turn. So its first effect is if you control a Fright Verb monster from the graveyard, you can put it back on the extra deck and special summon from the graveyard. Its second effect that you're more likely going to use the most because you usually pitch this off with Whale. If you can banish this and special summon a Fluffle monster from your hand. So you play 3 Poly. You have to play 3 Poly, obviously. Um, it's a fusion deck. Without it, you can't play. So the MVP of this this format is Forbidden Droplets. Um, you have to play three. Um, I'm glad that Droplets got reprinted. Even with the reprint, it's still like 90 bucks. But this deck works great because you send Toy Vendor, you send Chain, you can send Wings. Um, you, you send this other card I'm about to mention here in a second. Um, it's, just, it's just a really, really good card you break your opponent's board so easily so you play two royal penguin gardens so what I love about this so okay so I'm just gonna tell you what it does first so this first effect is you search any penguin card so you search your fluffle penguin this other effect is you can discard a card to reduce the level of one penguin card so you can discard toy banner you can discard chain um, but the reason I love this card uh, is because if you're playing against somebody that doesn't know what fluffles do, um, you can to activate Royal Penguin and it says you search for any penguin card. So it freaks out your opponent so they think like, oh my god, he's about to search any penguin card. So they will they will stop this card. They will waste a negate on this. And it's perfect because you know, either way how the deck works, you're still gonna get a, a penguin. And if they don't stop it, you, you get a penguin. So like, it's just a good bait card. I always open up with this and I smile when my opponents waste their ash on it. And also, it's a continuous spell, so another target with droplets, you just send it for another decade. 
So you, I play two fill, two foolish burial goods. I don't play three anymore just because this is a searcher. Um, two is just perfectly fine. If you play three, you're gonna you're gonna start breaking. You're gonna see multiples when you don't need them. So I play one Rayeki. You know, helps clear board. Not a lot of decks set up protections. Um, some decks you just set up like one or spell negate. So like. One of the things that I like to do with a lot of the decks that I'll let them make their board, because this is a go second build. They'll make their board, I'll regaki them. They'll use their like their only negate for spells and traps. I'll chain forbidden droplets, send regaki, and now their whole board is cleared. And you just go for an OTK. That's what I'm saying. Forbidden droplets is just really good with this deck. So obviously we play the one fusion destiny. We play two lightning storms. Um um, I usually play with Dark Hole. I just put this in the last minute. I still don't know how I feel about it. Um, it's just good against back row decks. Just pop the back row, but all the back row decks I play, I play the the new like card. I forgot what it's called. It's like a hand, but it basically protects your opponent's back row. And I don't know. I might just switch it to Dark Hole or put Tactical Talents just for another draw two. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sold with this card. So that's a 40 card deck, main deck. So my extra deck, I play three Fright for Cruel Will. This pretty good card. Pops a card on your side of the field. Pops a card on your opponent, doesn't target. You can target any Fujin monster on your side. Send a Fright for card from your deck to the graveyard, extra deck to the graveyard, and increase that monster by half of its original attack. Um, so it's just really good card. It breaks board. I love it that like it doesn't target, so, I'm, so it puts pressure on your opponent for them to activate cards that normally wouldn't activate at that spot. Well, like they would have like torrential tribute. I use this card to bait out my opponent's torrential tribute because you know I'm just gonna pop it if they don't. I play one fight for tiger. He has two effects. He pops cards from the many materials that you use to make him. So if you fusion summon him with three materials, you get to pop three, four, if you make four, whatever. But his other effect is all your Frightford monster gains 300 attack for each Frightford monster on the field and Fluffle monster. So he gives your monster a pretty big boost. So you play one Frightford Kraken. Uh, Kraken has three effects. First effect, you can send a monster from your monster card from your opponent's side of the field to the graveyard. But if you use that effect, this copy, the copy that used that effect, cannot attack your opponent directly. He can attack twice. And also at the end of the battle phase you can switch it to defense mode. So I play one Fright for Saber 2. So basically you need a Fryper monster and a Fluff or an Engine monster to make him. His first effect is like a monster reward for Fryper cards, so it's good when you like use Kraken's effect to send. If you use Kraken as a material, you just bring it back, and now Kraken can attack directly. His other effect is he gives all my Fryper monster 400 attack. And his other effect is if you use three materials to make this guy, he cannot be destroyed by battle by card effect. So there, there's some games where like you can just make this and set in defense mode and just, just stall until you have a, a good hand. So my other fusion is Mud Dragon and Starving Venom. Spoilers, I sized um, Super Poly, so just the best poly, Super Poly targets. I play one Destiny Phoenix Enforcer. This card just goes so good with the deck. It's because it pops Toy Vendor, it pops your Penguin card, you, you st it stays on the field, it's just so easy to make with Anaconda. And if you draw like the the two Destiny heroes, this is a fusion deck, so you, you're gonna have access to Poly. So, so you play one Birthday Anaconda, uh, everybody knows what it does at this point. One Cross Sheep. One Nightmare Phoenix, just because we don't want to lose to anti spell or 
Royal Decree, not Royal Decree, um, the spell one that you get spells. I just went blank. But yeah, so you just make this pop it and you can play your spells cards again. One Appalooza. And for the Exceeds, one Bahama Shark and one Totally Awesome. So on my side, like I said, this is a going going second build. So like all my hand traps are like in my extra deck. So I play like three Ash, three Imperm. And the reason I do this is because you really have to like mess with your opponent's head. So my strategy this weekend, I won the dice roll, make my opponent go first. Um, break their board, win, whatever. And like I said, I go back to game three. Your opponent's gonna think that they wanna go first. That yeah, I'm gonna make them go first, I mean. So they're gonna side in all their go first cards and that's when you side in your impermanence and your ash and you go first and you just draw until you get like all your interruption cards. And you're gonna have like a pretty good board so they're not gonna like OTK you. So once it goes back to your turn, you just OTK them. One, Pranker Tops. I like signing this against Sorcel. Um, these back row decks, it's just, it just really good. One Rare Reboot, three Twin Twisters in the back row, one Harpy Fell Duster, and three Super Polys. All right, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, man. Like I said, we, we have big things planned, big things. So yeah. Well, I'm here with the king of games, Yugi Moto, and he's telling me that you guys should subscribe, like, hit that notification bell for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Isn't that right, Yugi?